So one of the other things that I couldn't help but notice as I've been listening to this project and um, working on it, I couldn't help but notice, and I'm going to zoom in, I'm actually going to make the track kind of big and I'm going to, I couldn't help but notice how maxed out my levels are here. So one of the things I absolutely need to do is I need to turn the volume down on this thing. And so the way that you can do it is I can actually double click on here and select the main video and they're still linked which is what you want and I'm gonna I'm gonna close my video tab over here my motion tab and I'm gonna go over to volume and the volume right now is too big like that volume is way too loud so if I wanna move the volume down for the entire audio track the easiest way to do it is to I'm gonna unclick this because right now it wants to make keyframes. I don't want any keyframes. I actually am going to unclick this and I say yes, I don't want any keyframes because whatever changes that I enact on the clip will be applied to the entire clip. If I click this on and I click keyframes, um, I can put different keyframes at different parts. So if part of the audio is too low, I can put some keyframes around it, move the volume up around those keyframes. And then if there's parts of the video where the levels are too high, I can put keyframes around that and move those keyframes so that the volume is low. But I don't want to do individual keyframes. I'm looking at this down here, this wave down here, and I'm like, that's maxing out the levels. You know, now it's okay because it's not like garbled and it's not distorted, but it's it's this close to being uh, bad audio such that it's hitting the ceilings. So when I click this audio level here, and, I, and I'm going to recap, how did I get to this? I closed the uh, any motion and editors for this, and I went directly to audio. I clicked next to volume, and I clicked on level and I turned off keyframes. So now that I'm here, I actually want to take this down and I'm looking at the waves down here. Now, as somebody who's worked with sound for a long time, that's, that's a huge amount of noise that's in that audio track. You can see the size of the waves down here. So I want to change this and I want to take it down uh, probably as many as five to six decibels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to move this guy down and what what will happen is, and then I'm gonna hit Control Z just for a second. So this is what it sounds like when I haven't edited the levels. I'm Bailey, and I am the television broadcast and communications teacher here at Northside High School. You could see that it was hitting red over here the whole time, so that was loud. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change these levels, and I'm gonna take it down, like I said, five or six decibels. So if I click and I move it down. Let's just start with uh, let's just start with uh, as many as it's giving me rest. Six and a half decibels. Let, that's what it has right now. Let's just listen to it now and see if the levels over here are as loud. And I am the television broadcast and communications teacher here at Northside High School. Um, the overview of our program. Oh my goodness! I hit the sweet spot at the right moment. The waves were hitting right here. Um, so six and a half decibels was about right uh, to take down those levels. Now, conversely, you can do the exact same thing and increase the decibel level if your volume is too low. Now, here's the warning about editing audio like this. Number one, with in this case, the audio was pushing the, th the threshold but not breaking the threshold of being too loud. In other words, the gain on the microphone was so loud, but it wasn't too loud that I wasn't able to turn the volume down during post-production, which is what this is, and fix it. On the other hand, you can have audio that's not loud enough. In fact, if it's hardly making any waves at all, it doesn't matter how many decibels you increase that by, the only thing that's going to happen is you'll probably hear whatever audio you were supposed to hear slightly better, but you're just going to increase the amount of white noise that's going on in the background. So that's one way that you can take the audio of a clip and edit the entire clip's audio so that it's a reasonable volume, either downward or upward. In this case, uh, the audio needed to go downward.